he was always fascinated with um, trucks, cars, ambulance, rescue, fire equipment, and stuff like that. I mean, even from the time he was a little kid up until he went to Afghanistan, he was ordering all these um, emergency medical things off of eBay. He had this big city that he built, and um, it had a hospital, FBI, CIA, and it's just like all this. He was just, that was his hobby. It was crazy. That whole day was just unbelievable. And, um, but I made, you know, I pushed through and I did what I had to do. And about 10:20 that night, um, I was sitting on the couch, and it's like I could hear the faucet dripping. I'm like, when the faucet start dripping? It was like echoing, you know. So I got up to go and tighten up the faucet in the kitchen, and the doorbell rang, and my son came downstairs and he said, <coughs> "It's the uh, messenger, Ma. It's the messenger." The circumstances behind how their loved one died is it's much more tra tragic than what we had to go through, you know. We were able to, you know, get Brandon back and view his body and, you know, he came back in one piece. I mean, and, you know, some, some of the families never even, they don't get a chance to have that final thing, you know, they just... There's nothing left, you know. So we were we were able to have some closure. So we set up a scholarship in his namesake. It's a um, PFC um, William Brandon Dawson Scholarship. It's we call it the Freedom Scholarship, and um, that was one of our fundraisers when we did the dedication at the museum. Um, so this year, this year will be giving away two scholarships. I don't want his um, death to be in vain. You know, a lot of times soldiers, they go over there and they die, and that's it, you know? It's just another statistic going on. And I don't want that to be like that with him. You know, so it's up to me to keep his name. You know, it's up, I feel like it's up to me to, to keep his memory alive and, and fresh in the minds of people that loved him and everybody else.